So I took the R22 up and uh, put it into settling with power uh, several times and uh, did the uh, the uh, standard, what I call the standard recovery, just basically lowering the nose and getting your speed up. And I showed that if it's recognized early, that the amount of altitude loss can actually be quite minimal, only 50 to 70, 80 feet or so. Now granted, I'm going up here in the R22, I'm putting the thing into settling with power, as soon as I recognize that it's in settling, I'm making the recovery. Now in real life, if you get into settling with power, likely you're, it's going to take you a second or two to realize it. And the usual scenario is somebody that's up doing a photo mission, and they've slowed the aircraft down trying to let the photographer get a good shot, and they sort of lose track of which way the wind's blowing, they end up on the downwind leg, and they're taking cues from their speed across the ground and not watching their airspeed indicator, they get slow and get right into settling with power. Again, that may take a second or two to recognize before you're actually in it, before you start the recovery. And that one to two extra seconds of time can result in a significant loss in altitude, all right? So if you're low to the ground and you're, and you're, you know, got the thing slowed down and you're just a few hundred feet in the air, you've got to make a decision before the flight that, hey, if for some reason I get into settling with power, I'm going to do the Vachard recovery technique and not just try to get the nose down to get your speed up. So you really need to sort of think about what you're doing on a flight before you ever get in the midst of it. So, so let's review the, uh, the video of uh, me getting into settling with power and making the recoveries. Alright, gonna demonstrate a few, uh, demonstrate settling with power here. Kind of clear the area here a bit. Into the traffic, Diamond 933 Delta Sierra, 5 miles southwest, entering downwind, runway 9. slow down. You'll notice as we go through translational lift that there's a vibration but it's very very orderly. So as we're slowing down, there's ETL, nice and smooth and orderly. So we raise the nose a little bit more, slow down even more. There's the trap hazard. Now we get our nose down. Here up five miles south of being entering the uh, right face for three six seconds. And recovery. So we lost about 50 feet there. So it just goes to show you, if you lower the nose quickly, as soon as the onset of you getting into settling with power, you can recover it with a minimal amount of loss. So we'll do that again there. ETL, nice and orderly. Start getting into settling, there it is. Lower the nose. Hey, Dex traffic, uh, control, uh, one zero four Bravo Sierra, three Collective, miles, we're out of it. Southeast, and we're getting entering the, uh, right base for three six. Dex traffic. Turn that shit down. All right, so we lost about 50 feet, so we'll do that again. Seven eight two five four liner, female, northwest, Missouri, at five thousand feet. Oh, there's there's the ETL, nice and orderly. Go down a little more. Watching your VSI, you'll see that right. There's getting the haphazard, and there's the onset. Now we get our nose down, and we're out of it. And again, we lost about fifty feet, fifty to seventy feet. Try that one more time. Department is traffic dial, four six four four eight. We're crossing over midfield for a right downwind, zero three five. You can have the traffic. Oh, there's vibration beginning right at ETL. Goes up a little more. That's haphazard. Bring our nose down to recover. And again, we lost right at 50 feet. So again, in the onset, if you recognize the onset of settling with power, you ought to be getting 
nose down and get your speed up. If you're at quite a low level, you know, only a few hundred feet off the ground, the Vichard technique is definitely the way to go. But, you know, if you're up several hundred feet and you think you're getting into settling with power, get the nose down. Get the nose down, get the speed up. You can get out of it with minimal uh, altitude loss. If you wait till it's fully developed, the longer you wait to correct it, the more altitude you're losing. Not only is your sink rate starting to really accelerate, but the amount of lift produced by the rotor is ever decreasing. And you have to vector the lift, i.e. push the nose forward and vector the lift forward to get forward airspeed. The longer you wait, the less lift you have to vector, the longer it takes to recover, the more altitude you lose. So you got to get in there and get the recovery uh, you know, sooner rather than later. So the next video that I'm going to show you is an accident that occurred in Jakarta in 2003. And it was a episode of settling with power that uh, led to actually a fatality. Uh, the the um, helicopter pilot had a photographer on board and because of the positioning of the sun and that sort of thing decided to actually do some photography with a, uh, a video run with a tailwind and uh, ended up getting slow and got into settling with the power. You'll see about halfway through the video that he's almost in a uh, completely vertical descent and he apparently never makes any uh, maneuvers to try to recover from it. You never see the nose come down, he doesn't side slide. The Vichard technique wasn't really well known in 2003, but he makes no effort to actually recover. So we'll take a look at that. So there have been a fair number of uh, accidents, including fatal accidents, that occur on photo flights, uh, aerial survey and photo flights. In fact, Robinson actually issued a safety notice. It's actually safety notice number 34. I think the original issue date was about 1999, and it's been revised a few times. But in conclusion, uh, I'll just read the end of it to you here, and it says, aerial survey and photo flights should only be conducted by well-trained, experienced pilots who, number one, have at least 500 hours of uh, PIC time in a helicopter and at least 100 hours in type. Number two, have extensive training in both uh, low rotor RPM and settling and power recovery techniques. I wholeheartedly agree with that one. And number three is probably the most important one. And it says, are willing to say no to the observer or the photographer and only fly the aircraft at speed, altitudes, and wind angles that are safe and allow for good escape uh, routes. And I couldn't agree more.